Uh, very good morning all. So now we will have a look on uh, the second lemma of uh, Kernighan Lane uh, algorithm. So we have already gone through uh, lemma one and we have seen the constraint associated with uh, lemma one. So now we are considering lemma two and uh, here uh, we are uh, again uh, started uh, redefining the value of uh, D dash uh, as given over here. Considering uh, both the elements A, uh, small a, which is belong to the cluster capital A and small b belonging to the cluster capital B. Now uh, we start swapping both the values. Then uh, the modified value of uh, D, which uh, we are indicating here as uh, the D dash can be represented in the following way. So if I consider a specific uh, value of uh, D dash, it is given uh, in the following way D dash X equal to D X plus 2 C A minus 2 C B. Similarly, if I consider it for a node called Y, so D dash Y can also be represented in the following manner. So now we will have a look that how we obtain uh, both the uh, equation in the following way. So have a look on the diagram. So here you have two clusters A and B. And suppose we are considering one uh, specific node representing as X located in cluster A and this X is connected to both the nodes A as well as node B. So from that we can say uh, that uh, this particular node having both uh, the internal cost uh, as well as an external cost. And uh, now what exactly we will do? We will interchange the position of A and B. So I repeat here we have considered one node X which is connected to both the node A and B respectively. In this particular manner we will consider the first uh, expression uh, while considering the internal cost of a particular node. So as uh, we have already learned that any uh, specific node connected internally to other node in a specific cluster is giving you the internal cost. So now here what is happening? Suppose uh, A and B both are connected to X. While you start interchanging the position of A with B, so we can say that the internal cost of CXA will reduce. Why? Because now XA is no more become an internal connection. It will be an external connection while we will move A from cluster A to cluster B. So as you have seen in this particular diagram, A has already been moved. So there is no more CXA. So we can say that CXA will reduce and at the same point of time, the cost will also increase by CXB. And that uh, is because now B has came to the cluster A and a new internal cost has considered over here and we can say that CXB is increased. So thus we can say the new internal cost IX dash can be represented in the following way. The old internal cost IX minus CXA as A has already moved from cluster A to cluster B. So that's why there is no CXA, it will be reduced. And as B came to the cluster A from the cluster B after interchange, so it is going to increase the internal cost by CXB. So thus it becomes IX minus CXA plus CXB. Same manner, if you start considering the external cost, so we can say that the external cost is going to affect in the following manner. EX dash equal to EX plus CXA minus CXB. Applying the same logic over here, while you start interchanging the position of A and B, ultimately XA will increase and XB will decrease because we can say that as long as the external cost is concerned while A will move to cluster B, so it will increase by CXA. 
and at the same point of time if i consider x b so as x b is coming to the cluster a so it will get reduced by c x b so thus the formula become e x plus c x a minus c x b similarly why you start calculating the final value of dx which is nothing but d dash x over here it is the difference between the updated external cost minus updated internal cost and we have already calculated the value of ex dash and ix dash so ultimately this is the final expression that dx dash equal to the existing dx that is existing profit plus 2 cxa minus 2 cxb so this is how we can calculate the value of the updated dx in the following format as per lemma 2 is considered one thing always we have to keep in mind over here that x is connected to the node a and b so in case x is not connected to a and b so obviously the value of cxa and cxb will be zero the same concept we can also apply for a node y belonging to the cluster b in the following way that d dash y equal to e y dash minus i y dash which is equal to dy plus 2 c y b minus 2 c y a so thus we have completed lemma 2 with a new definition of dx that is actually the profit for interchanging two nodes between each other into different clusters